Hello from the University of St. Thomas Opus College of Business. I'm Steve Hummerkaus, Executive Director of the Forum on Workplace Inclusion. On behalf of the Forum staff, committees, and volunteers, congratulations on your selection as a presenter for the 26th Annual Forum, scheduled March 18 through 20 at the Minneapolis Convention Center. The vision of the Forum is to make it possible for an inclusive workplace to become a preferred strategy and a positive way of work by engaging people, advancing ideas, and igniting change. After a successful 25th anniversary in 2013, we are ready to advance this vision with this year's theme, Breaking New Ground. This short video is designed to help you plan a successful session by giving you a few presentation tips to help you deliver your best to our conference participants. We're putting a stake in the ground in response to what 2013 forum participants identified as the next work needed to advance diversity and inclusion. We plan on breaking new ground by pushing boundaries and challenging old paradigms, rethinking DNI practices and disrupting the status quo, exploring the illusion of inclusion and new directions for DNI. Of course, that's where your concurrent session along with our four general sessions comes in. You were selected based on the 2013 participants definition of next work and we're counting on you to help us fulfill that promise. Our promise to participants is to deliver content in a way that engages them through interactive sessions and focuses on them as active learners. Even our use of the term participant instead of attendee is to remind everyone that they have an active, not passive role in the conference. As a presenter at the forum, you are the facilitator of learning within your session. As defined by conference guru Jeff Hurt, a conference facilitator is one who provides an environment of attendee engagement that results in their learning. The facilitator provides resources such as questions, research, problems, content, and case studies that attendees use. They also provide active learning experiences and activities such as individual reflection, peer-to-peer -peer sharing, and small group discussion. Here are suggestions to help you better understand your role. Make the participants the center of your focus. Find out what their needs are and where their interests lie, and be mindful of meeting those needs and interests. Those who attend your session want to take away concrete ideas that they can practice on their own. You set the tone for your session, so it's important for you to start off with and maintain high energy to keep the audience active. They will feel the passion behind your words and feed off the energy you provide. When engaging attendees, practice the wisdom of the crowd. While you are indeed a content expert, there is a lot of knowledge, experience, skill, and wisdom in the room. Make sure you take advantage of the opportunity to broaden the discussion by calling on this expertise. The most creative solution may not be your own. As a facilitator of learning, you should start off your session by engaging your audience's mind. Use facts, quotes, or questions to stimulate the brain. This knowledge will provide a foundation that you can build upon throughout the session. Jeff Hurt recommends, and we agree, that you spend adequate time before your session developing contemplative and challenging questions that require attendees to reflect, think, consider, and process information with higher order thinking skills and critical thought. Every 10 minutes or so, the adult brain needs to stop listening and start doing. Chunk content into 10-minute segments and follow each chunk with an opportunity for participants to apply the information to their individual situations or explain to a neighbor what they heard. This will reinforce what you have been telling them. You can further promote the transfer of learning with peer exercises. Design small group work that will require participants to work through what they just learned, allowing collaboration and the opportunity to apply what you are teaching. One key insight to presenting a, a successful session is to know that the forum participants like to be challenged. Aim for the high end of your session's level of learning and stick to it. Don't let those who are not as knowledgeable or experienced refocus the level of your session. Provide metrics whenever possible and success stories of how your approach improved the situation. But along with successes, be sure to share what didn't work, what the challenges and stumbling blocks have been and how you overcame them if you did, make sure your research and data is current and credible. And don't be afraid to push forward and deliver content that will help participants into the future. Aim for what's coming at them rather than what is current or is past. Think next practices, not 
best practices. Finally, Nancy Duarte, author of Slideology, offers these seven questions that presenters should ask about their audience. We think these questions fit our hopes and expectations for an ideal learning environment and can lead to a targeted, relevant, transferable, and fresh learning experience for our participants. In addition to the tips I just described, there is certainly more we could say about preparing for your presentation. Be sure to visit the presenter section on the forum website for links to tips and ideas for an effective session. Thank you for investing your time and expertise to join us at the Forum on Workplace Inclusion. We'll see you soon.